Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about seasoning up oxtail. I'm going to be cooking it on Monday, so I just wanted to um, show you. So basically I'm going to use a little vinegar and a little lemon juice, rinse it off and then season. So give me a second, I'll be back. So I've gone ahead, poured some vinegar, cold water, a little lime juice. Uh, just let it soak for a few minutes, not long, not necessary. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off, and I'm gonna pat it dry so that I'll begin the seasoning process. Okay, so might have to rinse it uh, one or two times just to get all the stuff out. If you see any excess uh, uh, fat, you can just pull off or cut it off if you want, right? Uh, so once I've got it patted dry, once I've got it patted dry, I'll come back and um, show you. So I generally just use paper towel, uh, use a colander to drain the water, and then go ahead and um, pat it dry. Okay, so now that the oxtail dry, I'll show you that at the end, but um, you'll see that I'm gonna use uh, thyme, um, flex, uh, you know, mostly I get, make the, see how all of that settle in the bottom. So I'll use maybe a tablespoon of that um, maybe about 10 or 12 um, pimento seeds, uh, half or three quarters of a good scotch bonnet, some light dark soy sauce, some light dark soy sauce, pick a pepper, black pepper, garlic powder, salt. I have this oxtail seasoning, which I use. I use some of it to help um, in the the seasoning, but I don't. You don't have. You can't overuse because it already has salt. So you have to be careful about how much you put on. And of course, some good red wine and some oyster sauce and general scallion, green onion, an onion part of an onion, and some garlic. So those are going to be the main ingredients to help to season it up. So if you look over here, our oxtail is nice and clean. We're ready to go, so I'll pick up when I have everything in. Okay, um, I think one of the main ingredients I forgot to was brown sugar, so hang on. Okay, so here I go. My, um, my oxtail is dry. Um, so now I'm gonna add all my um, seasoning. So you'll see I have onion, half a scotch bonnet, thyme, scallion, garlic, and some brown sugar. So the first thing I always do when I'm seasoning, I'll grab this oxtail seasoning first, um, and then I'll lightly season it, because it has a lot of uh, all spice and stuff in there. So I'll just lightly season it the, for the first, um, first thing, because like I said before, that it has a lot of, a lot of salt in there. So just lightly, and that's done. So, sorry, let me just get something, clean my hand off. Uh, sorry about the shoddy camera work, but it's me trying to do it all. So then I'll go in with a little salt. And again, same same thing. You don't want to over salt it because soy sauce has salt. It's rather, it's best to have, uh, you can add salt at the end than over salt it and then it can't be eaten, right? So. A little bit on the bottom. Then we're gonna go in with some garlic powder. Then we're gonna go in with some black pepper. And then I'm gonna add all the wet ingredients. Give me one second, let me open these bottles and we can go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna add is just a little touch of uh, light soy salt because that is salty then I'm going to add in the dark soy sauce which is less salty and it will help to give us that that color that we want when we start to cook it and we'll put in of course our Jamaican pick a pepper sauce and we'll throw in a little bit of oyster sauce And you know me, I, I don't measure, so it's just I eyebrow it, I eyeball everything, and then about about almost a half a cup of wine, red wine. 
So once that's all in, I'm going to give this a good rub, rub in to rub the seasoning in. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my brown sugar. And it's about a heaping tablespoon of uh, brown sugar. So hang on a sec, let me get everything else in now. Okay, so now we have all the other scallion, onion, thyme, pepper, everything. So I'm going to give that a good rub down. And then I'm going to add a little bit of oil. And then I will be done. So that's basically it. But I like to work the seasoning in good. You know, I, that's why I put on a glove so you don't get it all over your hand. And so that's it. And like before, you leave it a day or even two and it'll even the, 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 it'll get even more flavor. So basically that's, that's, it, that's the seasoning. I'm gonna add the oil, I won't have to show you that. And then when I'm cooking it, uh, I'll let you see the process, okay? So um, this is part two for the oxtail. So put some oil in there and I've uh, put the oxtail out, spread it around a lot. So it's gonna be braising for about an hour, uh, sorry, about half an hour. So I'm not gonna cover it. I'm just gonna allow it to start to get all the juices out. Once all the juice is out, I'm gonna then pour hot water on it, cover it, turn the fire to medium and let it cook. Usually it takes about two to three hours depending on the texture of the oxtail, whether it's tough or not. Um, so, all right, so this is just the beginning. Catch you later. So what we're, the aim here is to get some color uh, into the oxtail. So, like I said, we have to leave it uncovered, uh, stirring it occasionally. We're going to make sure all the juices start to dry out. Once the juice is almost dried out, then we put the hot water in and then we turn it down to medium and let it start to cook. Uh, from time to time, you just have to stir it in this process to make sure that all of it is getting some, uh, some color in it. Okay. Okay, so we're almost at the point where we're going to add the hot water. If you notice that the oxtail has gotten brown, most of it. So another couple of minutes and I'll put the hot water in. I'll uh, come back when that's ready. Okay, so here I am going to throw some. What I do a lot of times is whatever seasoning is left in the pan, with juice, I just pour some hot water on it first. Pour it in here. But generally now we have to go ahead and... We're going to have to cover the entire um, oxtail with hot water. So, okay, so we just give it a good stir and then we're going to put the fire maybe at about medium and allow it, maybe about five or six, and allow it to start to cook. And then this is when we put the cover on. And like I say, it's gonna take maybe a good, at, on average about two, two and a half hours. Uh, check you later. Just a quick video, just showing you that it's just doing its thing. And like I said, it's gonna take over two hours to cook this. Because you want it tender, just about ready to fall off the bowl. Okay? So occasionally the water is gonna start to go down. So all you have to do is just make sure you heat up some more hot water and pour on it and just bring it over the top. Uh, this will do, I'm sure this will happen a couple of times for sure. Um, but So now I'm just gonna tip a little bit more hot water on it and just put it over the top of it. And we're good to go. Okay, so we've let it uh, boil down for a couple minutes, like maybe about three minutes. See if the color's changed a bit. So I'm gonna be adding some ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna be added uh, three heads of garlic, a scotch bonnet pepper, one green onion, and a little, about half of onion um, into the mix. Oh, man. 
Natalie, where are you? <laughs> My camera woman is needed, man. So, stir that in. Now, I'm gonna, um, sorry if I can't show you right now, but I have to open a bottle. So I'm gonna add just a couple drops of, uh, of brown into this, just a little bit, because it's got a good color already. So, there one. Oh, this thing is so hard to get up. And two. Okay. So then, as the mainstay, pick a pepper sauce. That's going in. Maybe about a big tablespoon and a half. And uh, put in some ketchup. Some oyster sauce. Sorry, I didn't get to show you all that, but ketchup is in there, oyster sauce, the browning is in there. So we're gonna stir it, stir it. And usually, like I mean, the, of each ketchup must, uh, and browning and stuff, it's maybe, the brown is about half a teaspoon. Uh, pick a pepper sauce, maybe about a tablespoon. Ketchup, maybe a uh, tablespoon as well. Uh, maybe a little bit more, a tablespoon and a half, and um, oyster sauce is a tablespoon. So I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit, and let just take time. I'm going to open my um, beans to go in there, but I'm going to taste it. And if you remember when I did the gravy, the secret ingredient, what was it? A little bit of um, um, guava jam. I'm also going to taste now for salt and everything and put a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of garlic salt, and, uh, sorry, garlic powder, and I'll check for um, salt taste, okay? Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to put about, put this, I'll put in about just a, about a quarter teaspoon, not a lot of the jam, just a little bit, just to give it that little um, spice up. Um, I'll also add some margarine to this. Usually, maybe about, I would say about a good heaping teaspoon. So we're going to stir that in. So I'm going to go ahead after that uh, margarine melts out. I'm going to taste it for um, salt, just to see where we are with that. And then once I have the, it has enough salt, then I'll go ahead and um, put in my beans. So I'll be back in a minute. So I'm going to just go ahead and add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper, just a little sprinkle, not a lot, maybe less than a quarter teaspoon or maybe a good pinch. Sorry guys, this is, it's really hard for me. It's really hard for me to um, navigate um, trying to open all these bottles and a little bit of salt because when I tasted it, it just needs a little drop little bit okay so I'm gonna also cut a piece of scotch bonnet pepper and put in there but you see it's coming down nicely and I'm just gonna go ahead and add the beans and uh, let it boil for a little bit and then we're almost done okay be back in a few so I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, my beans I usually buy the dry li li lima beans I find that they're good uh, they're just same butter beans, but I strain them first and I rinse them uh, I rinse them off with some water. Okay, so just give me a second So I usually open the can put them under Usually I find depending on how much I'm cooking. It's usually a can or a can and a half I have some leftover ones. I'm going to add it to this to the uh, box deal as well. Okay, be back in a minute Okay, so I'm back with the pot. You'll see how how luscious this looks. It looks great already. Uh, hang on a sec, let me just stir this out of the pot. Uh, so I've washed off the beans. I've added a little bit that I had left over and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. When I do, I normally just try to add a little bit of salt on the beans, a little black pepper because, you know, you gotta season them too, right? So um, there, there the beans are in there. I'm just gonna 
quickly get a little just a little seasoning on them hang on okay so now we have our beans in so now we're just going to put it in there i'm going to turn up the fire a little bit now because i just want it to um you know soak up see my scotch bonnet peppers in there um just want it to boil down a little bit and the beans start to thicken the gravy even more okay i'm going to give it also a final taste to see what it needs mm. Mm, i think it needs i think it maybe needs just a touch more salt and then that should be it okay be back in a minute so instead of salt i've gone ahead and just had a teaspoon of uh, oyster sauce all right so now i'm gonna let it boil down and let the beans get soaked in with that flavor i'm gonna add a little bit more scotch bonnet pepper i'm gonna get that and put that in and this is almost done okay okay so i'm adding the scotch bonnet just to enhance that flavor and i'm just gonna leave it on about medium heat for a few minutes let it bubble down get a little bit thicker and we're almost done looking good 